we're here today, as uh, has, has been mentioned, to celebrate two big budget victories that owe a lot of their success to the efforts of the Legislative Women's Caucus. First is $530 million in phased-in increases for early childhood education for child care and preschool. And then we are repealing the punitive and unsuccessful maximum family grant that harms 130,000 California children in 95,000 families. ECE has been and always will be a priority for me. Research shows that 90% of a child's brain develops in the first five years. Children who receive quality childcare at a young age are better prepared for school, have greater math ability, greater thinking and attention skills, and fewer behavioral challenges. Funding cuts to ECE were part of why I first ran for office and how I met Holly Mitchell 15 years ago when she was at Crystal Stairs and I was at MAOF. So I'm enormously proud to be here for my first budget as speaker, which includes this uh, enormous increase in funding for these vital programs. The work I do is indispensable. The care I provide supports the jobs of the mothers and fathers whose children are in my care. They are counting on me to keep my doors open so that they can go to work or school. Oftentimes, I work with parents who struggle to afford the child care. I would never turn them away, but it comes at a great cost to me. With the budget agreement on child care, California has taken a huge step forward for our children that will pay dividends for generations. Our budget agreement includes additional full day preschool slots and increases reimbursement rates for providers, which have been frozen for 10 years, as well as increases to accounts for the higher minimum wage that we passed earlier this year. In the 1990s, after voters rejected uh, a draconian ballot initiative aimed at families on aid, then Governor Pete Wilson ran the maximum family grant rule into a budget agreement. Back in the days when the two-thirds requirement made that kind of cynical political leverage possible. The only practical effect the MFG ever had was penalizing children based on their birth order. The Assembly has been trying to rescind this rule for years, as, as has the Senate, and having the Legislative Women's Caucus focus their efforts on it this year was the key reason that we made it over the finish line. So is having a governor like Jerry Brown who shares the legislature's commitment to lifting Californians out of poverty. Mm -hmm.